Dear YouTube community, please stop doing the following things. Wearing a matted wig that's going into a matted ponytail. Please stop. Take care of your hair underneath the wig. I don't even want to think about what it looks like under there because the hair on top, that's not even your hair, is matted and going into a matted ponytail. Please stop doing these hair challenges, these monosat challenges, tampax challenges, whatever else challenges, rub this on your scalp challenges, it shouldn't even be on your scalp because it's meant for your southern regions challenge, this chili pepper challenge on your scalp, like have y'all lost your mind? Take care of your hair and take care of your nutrition and your hair will grow. It's really that easy. I don't understand. It's, it's honestly that easy. Please stop telling people that grease makes your hair grow. Grease does not make your hair grow and neither does dirt. I'm tired of these inversion methods where people are, are popping back up too quick and passing out and busting their head wide open on stuff. Can we please just get back to the basics of hair care? It's amazing to me how many people will try to come up with shortcuts on how to take care of their hair. And for the one person who I know is super salty right now, yes, I said grease will not make your hair grow. But let me help you out and tell you what will make your hair grow. If you notice on the back of that tub of grease, if you turn it around and you read it, it tells you to apply a amount to your fingertips and massage it into the scalp. Would you like to know what's doing the trick? It's the massage. It's not the grease. You can literally do the same thing with an all-natural oil that will actually absorb into the skin that doesn't have such a large molecular size and see much better benefit to the actual condition of the skin and see growth in your hair. It's time that we get down to proper hair care and that we focus back on the basics because I see so many different people that are treating their weave better than they treat their hair and then wondering why it is they are so dependent upon weave. Whereas if you would just take care of your natural hair, it could be at a certain length where you don't even need the weave. You're just wearing it because it's Wednesday. <laughs> You're just wearing it because you wanted a change. Please shampoo your hair. I cannot with these people talking about some, oh yeah, dirt makes your hair grow. Oh no, that's growing dandruff. You should keep that. Honey, they call it growing dandruff because it started in a small spot and if you don't get it under control, it will grow all over your scalp. It doesn't mean it makes your hair grow. Use your common sense. If you got a degree, use that and your common sense. You can't just abandon your common sense. What's wrong with y'all? If you found this video informative or if you know somebody who needs to watch this video, please share it with them because I'm sick and tired of hearing that grease makes your hair grow, dirt makes your hair grow, dandruff makes your hair grow, uh, the I wear weave because it makes my hair grow. Meanwhile, they're not even taking care of their hair underneath the weave, so the hair underneath the weave is breaking off. It's coming out because the weave is too tight and all sorts of things. Now you got permanent bald spots around the edges. Can we just get back to basic hair care? That's all I want. That's all I want. Until next time, you guys, take care and God bless. And as always, stay glam. I love you guys. Bye-bye.